Hey what is up everyone my name is Abhishek and in today's video I will share with you four different beginner methods that you can use to create some really amazing text animations in After Effects. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already created a couple of composition so I'm going to use them as an example to show you different text animation techniques. So the first technique is moving your text along a path. So let's say we have this text which says motion graphics and I'm using this Gibson semi bold font so it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want. And if you want to animate this text and let's say you want this to come from this side and you want this to slide in and then come to this position. So the best way to do that is you can select the pen tool and make sure that your text layer is selected and after that you can just click wherever you want your text to come in. So I want this to slide in from here. So just simply click over here and then just simply click somewhere around here and just simply click and drag so that it will create these bezier handles and after that just simply click something like this so you can see that we have this sort of curve and it's completely up to you you can just tweak this curve however you want and yeah I think this is looking fine so I want my text to move along this path so in order to do that what we are going to do is so if you go under the text you can see that we have this option called path options and if you go under this we can see we have this path property so from here you can change it from none to mask one which is this path we just created so now you can see that our text has aligned itself according to this path and if you want to animate this all you have to do is just simply move this parameters so you can see that now our text is moving along the path so let me just quickly animate this so in the beginning I want this to be somewhere around here so you can see that it's at negative 866 so I'm going to add a keyframe and let's move my timeline indicator to somewhere around two seconds and now I can just simply increase the value and you can just simply go ahead and yeah I think this is looking good now if you want to tweak the path you can do that all you have to do is just simply click on these endpoints and you can tweak the path on the way so it's completely up to you you can increase the length of it so let's say I want this to be go to somewhere around here so all you have to do is just simply keep on heading these points and it will animate your text according to that but for this one I think I'm going to stick with this so yeah now we have our text and so if I play back here you can see that our text is following the path and in the beginning you can see that our text is visible so I'm going to just move it somewhere around here so you can select the keyframes then press F9 or you can just simply right click and go under the keyframe assistant and then easy ease and after that you can go under the graph editor just make sure that you are in the edit speed graph and then you can select these endpoints and just simply make your graph look something like this so now if I play back here you can see that now we have a much better animation now if you want to add some motion blur to this all you have to do is just simply click on this icon and make sure to enable the motion blur for the comp as well so now you can see that our text has some really nice motion blur to it. So the next type of animation that we are going to learn is the simple mask reveal animation and I'm sure you might have seen it number of times and let me show you how to create them. So the first thing that you want to do is just simply create a shape so you can either use the rectangle just make sure none of the layer is selected and then you can create a rectangle something like this and you can just place it somewhere around here and after that you can just simply select the motion graphic text layer just make sure that it is below the shape layer and after that you can change its track mat but before that let's animate our text so let me select the text and I'm going to press P for position so let's add a keyframe for the position and this is going to be our final position so let me just move the keyframe somewhere around two seconds and in the beginning I want my text to be below so I can just simply move it somewhere around here now you can select the keyframes again you can press F9 and after that just go into the graph editor and let me just quickly change this to something like this. Now you can see that we have our text animation but still the box is visible 
so in order to hide this all you have to do is just simply change its track mat option so if you are not able to see the track mat option then you can click on this icon and it will make it appear so after that you have to change this to alpha inverted because our text is outside the box so we want to select the alpha inverted option so now you can see that our text will appear just like this so it is appearing behind the box so which is over here now if you place this box onto your text layer then you have to change this to alpha mat so now our text will be visible wherever we have this box so it will appear only inside the box now it's completely up to you you can go creative with the shape layer and let me just change this to none and now i'm going to delete this shape layer so you can also select the pen tool and you can draw a random shape so let me draw a something like this so it looks like a crown and just make sure that the fill is set to solid color and just simply tweak these something like this and you can see that our text is appearing again we can set the track mat to alpha inverted because our text is outside the shape layer so now if i play back here you can see that now we have this sort of mask reveal animation so you can see that it is appearing around these edge corners so this is how you can create mask reveal animation so the next type of animation that we are going to learn is the overshoot animation so you all know that we can simply animate a text or whatever layer you have so if you can animate its property so let's animate this from 0 to 100 so you can see that we have this simple scale animation and you can enhance this mode by simply selecting the keyframes then easy is them and just tweak the graph to something like this so now you can see that we have this simple scale animation now if you want to enhance this mode what you can do is you can add a little bit of overshoot to this now there are two ways in which you can add the overshoot one is by using an expression and the other one is by simply adding a keyframe so if you want to learn the expression method then you can check out this tutorial of mine in this i have explained this in a complete detail format so you can watch this link for that will be in the description below and the second method is by adding keyframes so we are going to use the second method so in order to add the overshoot we are going to again add another keyframe somewhere around here so it is going to be at 100 which is going to be our final position and on this keyframe i'm going to change this value to something like this so you can see that now our text is quite large so it grows from 0 to 200 percent and then it goes back to 100 now you can select the keyframes and go under the graph editor and then you can change the graph to look something like this so now you can see that our animation starts at very high speed then it gradually slows down and after that it again speeds up and then goes to the final position so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice overshoot going on and if you want you can just simply change the position of the keyframes to make it a bit faster something like this so it's completely up to you you can just keep on adding the keyframes you can just simply you can just change this to 90 and then after a couple of frames you can move it back to 100 so now if i play back here you can see that we have this kind of animation so it's completely up to you you can use this method to whatever property you want so let's say i want to do this to the position property so i can add a keyframe and in the beginning i want my text to be somewhere around here so you can see that now my text goes to this point and before that i want my text to surpass this point so you can see that it goes further and then it comes back to its final position so now i can select the keyframes again press f9 then in the graph just change it to look something like this so now if i play back here you can see that now we have a really nice overshoot kind of animation again you can just keep on adding keyframes to make it smoother so if you want you can just simply tweak this keyframe and you can just make it something like this so that it has a easing at the end now you can enable the motion blur as well so in this way you can add the overshoot impact animation 
Now in the last method we will see how you can use animation properties to animate your text. Now animation property is a complete tutorial in itself so I am not going to cover all the details like how you can use these parameters to animate your own text in this video but if you want me to make a special tutorial on that so you can mention that in the comments below. So that does not mean that I'm going to leave this fourth method as it is and I'm going to skip this one. In fact, I'm going to show you how you can add the animation property to this without having to animate anything. So After Effects comes with some pre-built text animation presets. So if you want to apply them onto your text layer, you can search them in the effects and presets panel. So if you go under the animation preset, under the preset, you can see we have this folder called text. So under this you can see we have subfolders and all of these have the presets which you can use on your text. So now you can apply any of these presets. All you have to do is just simply select your text layer. Then you can select any of these and just simply drag it onto your text layer. So now if I play back, here you can see that we have added the animation to this. Since these are presets, so you don't have to worry about the animation. So you can tweak this further by simply selecting the layer. Then you can press U to check out the keyframes. Now you can make them closer of move them further apart to make the animation faster or slower or you can select them then easy is by pressing f9 and then just simply change the graph editor something like this so you can customize this however you want so let's check out some other presets so if you come over here you can see we have different folders and all these have these presets built in so you can just simply drag them onto your layer and now you can see that all the animations are already applied so there are hundreds of presets that you can choose from it's completely up to you so i hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another amazing video like this so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one